Welcome to Sara's class. Today we are discussing the topic factors affecting the resistance of the conductor and resistivity of the conductor. So we can go to the topic. So we know that resistance means what? It is opposition for to the it is opposition force to the flow of electrons. So we have to see the factors affecting the resistance of the conductor. Factors affecting the resistance of the conductor. So we can see the first factor. The factor, the first factor that affects the resistance of the conductor is the length of the conductor. So first factor it is affecting is the length of the conductor. So when the length increases, this resistance and length are directly proportional. When the length increases, the resistance also increases. So next, the resistance and area of cross section the area of the cross section are inversely proportional area of cross section means the thickness of the wire the area of cross section means the thickness of the wire which we are taking and the area of cross section are inversely proportional that is when the area of cross section increases the resistance will decrease the area of the if area of the cross section increases the resistance will decrease the third factor is the nature of the material the third factor is the nature of material the third factor which affect the resistance is the nature of the material so these are three factors which affect the resistance of the conductor the resistance of the conductor will depend on the length area of the cross section and nature of the material so next we have to combine this equation one and two so we are combining the equation 1 and 2. So we are getting R is proportional to L by A. R is proportional to L by A. So to remove this proportional sign, we are introducing a constant. To remove this proportional sign, we are introducing a constant. So that constant is known as a rho or resistivity. This constant is known as rho. Rho that is the resistivity so here r is equal to rho l by a so this rho is known as a resistivity of the conductor so r is equal to rho l by a r where r is the resistance rho is the resistivity l is the length of the conductor and a is the area of cross section so from this equation we get the equation for the resistivity so what is the equation to find the resistivity r is equal to, rho is equal to r a divided by l r rho is equal to r a divided by l so this is the equation to find the resistivity of the conductor resistivity of the conductor our rho is equal to r a divided by l where r is resistance a is the area of cross section and l is the length of the conductor so next we have to find the unit of the resistivity so we have to find the unit of the resistivity so what's the unit of resistance the unit of the resistance is ohm and what's the unit of area of cross section from we know that the area unit of area of cross section is meter square and what's the unit of the length it is meter the unit of the length is meter so we are cancelling here so here we are getting ohm meter we are getting the unit of resistivity as ohm meter so that is the unit of resistivity this is the unit of the resisti resistivity. So the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Next we have to find the factors affecting the resistivity of the conductor. So this resistivity. The main thing we have to note is the resistivity does not depend on the area of cross section or length of the conductor. It does not depend on the length or area of cross section of the conductor. It depends only on the substance. It depends only on the nature of the substance. So next we have to see some of the resistivity of some of the materials. So first one we are seeing the resistivity of the silver. So the resistivity of the silver is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus power eight, minus 8 ohm meter. And next we have seen an alloy such as magnet. 
Next, we have to see the resistivity of an alloy such as magnet. So, the resistivity of the magnet is 44 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 ohm meter. Next, we are taking an insulator. So, its resistivity will range from example for glass. So, the resistivity of the glass is 10 raised to 10 to 10 raised to 40. 10 raised to 40 ohm meter. So, we are taking three materials silver. One, the resistivity of the silver is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. So, the alloy, we are taking alloy of such as magnet. So, the uh, resistivity of the magnet is 44 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. And insulator such as glass, we are taking here, we are taking uh, insulator as glass. So, here the resistivity of the glass is 10 raised to 10 to 10 raised to 40, 40 ohm meter. So, when we are looking at this, which has low resistivity, here the silver has the lowest resistivity. So, which material has low, lower resistivity? That is a good conductor. Good conductor means low resistivity. So, here from this we can see that the silver has a less resistivity. It has the power 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. So, from this, which is the good, from these three things, which, which is we can see that silver is the good conductor of electricity. So, here, good conductor. Good conductor means, good conductor means what? Low resistivity. low resistivity and bad conductor high resistivity so here we can see that silver has the lowest resistivity resistivity so silver is the good conductor of electricity so here insulator insulator we can see that it has high resistivity 10 raised to 10 to 10 raised to 40 ohm meter so we can see that insulator is a bad conductor of electricity so from this we can find that the substance which have low resistivity is a good conductor and the substance which have high resistivity it is a bad conductor of electricity so, this must things we have to find in case of resistivity. So, here R is equal to rho L by A. This is the relation between R. R, R is proportional to rho L by A. To remove this proportional sign, we are introducing a constant. This constant name is known as this constant name is known as resistivity of the conductor. R is equal to rho L by A. So, from this equation, we get res resistivity as R A divided by L. The unit of the resistivity is ohm meter. And next, based on this resisti resistivity, we can find good conductor and bad conductor. Good conductor means low resistivity and bad conductor means high resistivity. So, thank you for watching the class. We can meet in the next class with the problem related to resistance and resistivity of the conductor. So, thank you for watching.